So now let's unbox this big box first. <laughs> it's really huge. This is a ruler and of course it's more than that. <laughs> even, yeah, even higher. <laughs> yeah, it's really big. So super excited about this one. Christmas came early and this is a part of my Black Friday haul sale from Ben Store. One of the biggest box I unboxed. <laughs> All right. And the big reveal. Ta da! <laughs> of course. So I have this one, a little bit more suspense. Oh my gosh. That's a lot. Okay, we see one item here already. My first ever Lamy ink, and it's the crystal ink in Azurite. And when I was watching Goulet Pens, they say that this is their best seller because it's the best, <laughs> the best ink, most beautiful, everybody's favorite. All right. What do I have in here? Must be a pen. Let's see. Ah, okay, yes, a converter. Yes, because I have some more Lamy pens, so I grabbed a converter instead. And then I have two more things here, which is the main event of uh, this haul. I think I start with the bottom because I know what that is. And it's another Caran Dash Aquarelle or 20 Museum Aquarelle, which is the Caran Dash watercolor pencils. And this time it's the landscape assortment. So uh, the other one, I have the marine assortment and then now it's the landscape. So in total, I have 40 of them. So, and lastly, this one, where is it? No, yeah, I also ordered this one. Oh my God, it's so tiny. Cause I wanted to test the Rhodia paper because on the fountain pen community and the ink lovers, they say that the Rhodia papers were really good. So I just really wanted to, to test the paper and um, do some swatches of the ink. That's why I have this one, but oh my gosh, it was so, so small. But I think this is like about a dollar or so. 48 pages, 25 sheets. It's Rhodia paper, 80 grams it says, and it's the infamous dotted one. It's really nice, it's like a pocket notebook as well. So I think aside from being a test paper, I can also use this, put it in my bag for some quick scribbles. And this is what is the highlight, but I think I should go back to the table pretty soon, but yeah, fine. Let's go ahead and wrap it here also. Since I'm here anyway. I'm here already, so let's do it. I have been stalking this for so long. I forgot when this is released, so I'll put it on the screen. So ever since this was released, I have been stalking it. It had been out of stock from the waste website from Pens for Ed. Oops, sorry. <laughs> and um, and I was like, oh no, I missed my chance. It went on sale for several times, but I got this for the lowest price possible ever that I could and find. And ta-da! As you see, Kuratake Gansai Tambi! I have been holding off to buy the individual sets of this one because I feel like, yeah, I, I, I love this 100 color set instead. Ooh, so exciting. On this uh, wooden box. I believe this is like an anniversary edition if I'm not mistaken. 
I think, yeah, 120 years. Is that correct? Well, I will get my facts straight up. And I will tell you more information when we reach the table. But that is how it looks. And those are all of the items for this first pen store Black Friday haul. And let's go ahead and check them out. So first, let's talk about this two Lamy items that I bought for this Black Friday sale haul at Ben's store. This cartridge right here goes to this Lamy Safari that I have. I have a very tiny collection and I have shown this on one of my Ben's store hauls also that is already uploaded here on my channel. So go ahead and check it out. So I have five Lamy Safaris and then one Lamy All Star. So this is on a bucket piece or like a small set of, um there in pen store as well and you can check out the video that i created for this one to know more about them but i can give you a preview so the pens that are right here um here this one is the safari fountain pen candy and mango uh, that one is a uh, green in medium nib and this one is a aquamarine from the candy edition this three are from a limited edition series that's called Candy. And then this one is the Safari Fountain Pen Candy in Violet that has a fine nib inside it. This is one from the, what was that collection again? I forgot. Um, but this is the Savannah Terra Red. Oh, I would love to have the Terra Green also, but that's hard to find. And that's also one of those that are, they created a lot of the fake ones. So hopefully I get to find that. So the pair is um, here in my collection too. And I only have one Safari All Star right here. And if I'm not mistaken, this is the bronze. I'll put it on the screen if I if I'm find the correct color for that one. So all of that um this cartridge can go there uh, i think there's some that are inked here let's see here in the all star I have one that's inked just so you see how it looks like for those who are not familiar yeah there you go that's a cartridge and that's exactly the same one this is just like filled with one of my diamond inks and i think i would do a lamy collection video because I have a tiny one but it would be nice to share that also when my other Lamy's arrived I will do that and then this is the ink let's talk about it as well this is the box this is a beautiful crystal ink that they have as a right as I mentioned one of the best sellers everybody's favorite in 30 ml I wish they have a smaller one because I like <laughs> i like almost sample sizes super cute but uh, it's also good to have one in this 30 ml size that's how it looks and okay let's remove this part so this is the ink bottle like a triangular shape but not in sharp edges okay there you go made in germany 30 ml or one fluid on and this is how it looks at the top so i think we can go ahead and try this one so oh wow look at that <laughs> so i'm going to grab my glass pen and this is from ami in germany that is available at westers art here in sweden so here is just uh, one of those non-expensive watercolor paper that i have and so we go dip okay so let's say i do I am not ready for this one. I am not super good with calligraphy, so I just do my regular hand <laughs> writing. What happened to that? <laughs> Sorry about that. Lamy Azurite, right? Azu. I want 
star there and a right and a smiley and like those yeah so it's there but i think it would be best also if We do some lines and some waves and some regular writing. Let's see, fears, art. Oops, I forgot the duh. <laughs> the fears art. <laughs> oh yeah. So. That's the color. I think I did not do it just this, so, so I could probably swatch this once again. Yeah, pretty. Okay. And then, while we're at it, I have here the Rhodia notepad, which I really intended to use for swatching my inks. Paper size will be 4.5 by 12 centimeters or 3 by 4 and 3 fourths inches. So 48 pages, 24 sheets, dot grid, the paper, 80 grams once again. And just here, Paris. Oh, made in France. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to use the middle part instead right here. Okay, let me just stretch that. And... Okay, let's see. Let me just put in... I have so many different handwritings, I swear you. <laughs> oh, I just want to say happy holidays. I think, yeah, bro, the paper is really beautiful because it shows the ink quite vibrantly. I don't know if my camera is doing it justice, but I really see that it was really, really nice here. Yeah, that was, oh, that is so fun. I would love to, to keep on writing with this. And yeah, maybe I can do um, a fast art. Maybe I could grab one of my brush pens also. So what are we going to do? I don't really know. So I'm just going to create some like landscape here with two mountains. Like so. And a little bit of some clouds. And then a winding road. That maybe we'll put some trees here. Okay, let's put some winter trees instead. Some pine trees. Sorry about my super impromptu. <laughs> impromptu ink art here. But you know what? I love to collect some of these fountain pens, but I would love to use the inks for art instead. So not really for writing. Oh wow, even even this pen can can do a lot of scribbles. Let me just grab a color brush. And as always, I grab my favorite Tintoretto Synthetico Vaho, made in Italy. It's the 1337 size 8. All right, so let's. So this is already wet, the ink. Oh my god, look at that. Oh wow. And that is really why I bought this ink. For some art that I wanted to do with it. Oh wow. And 
in my sky. Grab more water. Use it more. And you will be seeing some more of this type of art here on my channel because I also love to, to paint with inks. There. And that's it! Wow! And even this uh, rodeo paper, I think I, I put way too much water in there, but it handles it like a champ. Well, it's not watercolor paper, but it's still good. But oh my gosh, going back to the swatch that we had earlier, look at that sheen! Where did that green came from? Now that it's dry, it shows the sheen. Oh my god. And then now even in this in this one it shows more of it. Photo of this one. Flash it on the screen so we see more. I was thinking like I wanted to do like this too, so um just to see the transparency of it. Yeah. This ink is so beautiful. Wow, I, I am so tempted to really do like this. And then of course I will. And then know that that weird L that I created. Oh, that's really nice. You will see a lot of my artworks with this one. But yeah, so that's for these three items. And... Wow, all of them are, are really quite nice. So I'm quite happy about this bunch. And we are going to talk about the other two items that I have on this haul. So now here is the Karen Dash 20 Museum Aquarelle or the watercolor pencils, the top notch, the best of the best from Karen Dash. And I have recently shown you the other one, it's this one from Amazon haul. I still haven't opened that yet, uh, but so I have the marine assortment and this time it's the landscape assortment. So that's the difference in the colors. And if I'm not mistaken, there are no two colors are alike. So let me see here. Ooh, I have the 049 that's doubled. Seems like it's a brown or a shade of brown. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, it's only that one. Yeah, I think it's it's only that one. So then, <laughs> then I have, I still have 40 colors, but 39 unique ones. So that and I really cannot wait to go ahead and play with them, but I prefer to create a separate video for them instead. So we get to do an in-depth um, try on of these beautiful pens. And a lot of people like this one over the Albrecht Durer, Durer from Faber-Castell. And, and some compares this quite a lot with the ink Tens or their want light fast, it's called instead. Yeah, the their want light fast. So, yes, I will create another video for this one. Super excited! You know, I love watercolor, so everything watercolor I love. See, in this timeline, this one is a um, more recent, it's 2013 when this one is created, and that's the anatomy of the pencil. Many good things about this one, cannot wait. and. Last but definitely not least, something that I am super excited about. The Koratake Gansai Tambi 100 color set. So yes, it is the 120th anniversary product from Kuratake or Zig Kuratake. 
and I believe this was released somewhere around October of 2022, if I'm not mistaken. It was a limited edition release that includes all 100 colors of the Gansai Tambi package in one beautiful box. So this box is designed with flower and plant embellishment that is common motif used in Japanese painting. And they say that this box is compact, easy to use, and is recommended, of course, as a gift. And this is a gift to myself. <laughs> yeah. So that's how the top looks like. On this side right here are the colors that we expect from inside here. There's names in English. The numbers are there. And then on this side says, what is Gansai Tambi? Traditional Japanese pan watercolors for professional artists and crafters. It is recognizable by its vivid color and quick dissolution. It fulfills the needs of many creators in their pursuits of beauty in their artwork. And then there's a wide range of vivid, rich colors, beautiful Japanese colors included in this series. A wide range of vivid colors can be useful without mixing colors. Huh, something like what we call pure pigment in the watercolor world. Various expressions. It says water-based pigment paint can be highly opaque when used solely as a gouache, but can also become more transparent depending on the amount of water added for the lesion. So it works as a gouache or a watercolor, and that will just differ on the amount of water. Usability it is a solid type of watercolor pressed into pans that can be prepared and cleaned up quickly and easily dissolved in water. And then we have the AP in here certified. And then at the side, well, this is just a warning, not intended to um intended for use by children. And the so um what do you call it when storing. Keep the pan horizontally with palette facing up. Do not leave in direct sunlight or high temperatures. Do not use for purpose other than as intended. Wash your brush after use and make sure palette is dry before storing. Those we already know. Okay. Yes. And here it is at the back. So we can see that we have four layers in here super exciting yes made in japan that's it at the bottom so perhaps i can like just open it from the side okay and then we'll just slide it like so Oh, wow. And this is the box. Yes. <sighs> that is really nice. I'm really quite happy. I really like wooden boxes. Okay, there's a leaflet that fell right here. Okay, oh, okay. it's the catalog for the colors. Quite useful. That's nice. Okay, these are the pearls in the metallic colors that will show up on either black or white paper it says here cool so this is how it looks i believe this is a garter yep garterized oh god they're so exciting it's like christmas is already here okay so there oh so exciting Oof, oh my gosh all right so let me lift this part here it's a thin wooden box does not really resemble any bamboo, just a regular wooden box, I think. And here we have a swatch card. Aha! So this swatch card is only for this part right here. So you know what? I never owned a Gansai Tambi. Haven't even tried anything or any Gansai Tambi yet. So this is going to be my first time. So it's so exciting. Oh my gosh, so these are the colors from here. Um, starting with the lemon up to the cobalt violet. So we have lemons there, um, the reds and the pinks and the purples. Oh my gosh. So that's for this part here. 
Okay, we have the darker purples and then the blues up to the greens. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That was so exciting. And then this one has the remainder of the greens, the lighter greens, and then some earth colors, and then the start of the golds. Or here too, there's a black and a white there. Okay, and that's this one's. Oh, so nice, oh my goodness. Wow. And lastly, at the bottom is this one. So we have champagne gold up to the graphite at the bottom. So on their individual sets, they could be a set of the tiny box of six and then can go on for like the different sets, which I will be showing up in the screen. So you have an idea and I'm sure a lot of you do because you have been using Gensai Tambi even before. <laughs> yeah, so these are the last ones. Oh, how awesome. These white ones are the opals, the opalescent ones. And then here are the gemstones. Mm, so exciting. Oh my gosh. Oh, goodness. Each pan is just so big compared to Western pans. So tiny. How do I grab that? Oh my gosh. I don't, I don't want to ruin it. Oh my God, I just want to grab one to, to show. Oh goodness. Okay, there. Oh, even at the bottom. Oh, that is so cool. Because it shows at the bottom the number and then the name. And that will correspond to the one at the bottom of each and every pan. So you can easily put it back on where it belongs on this 100 set. So for example, you just wanted to, like on a specific painting, you only need a couple of colors, maybe just the earth tones. And you put it aside and or rather you wanted to travel with it, you could still put it back easily. That is so thoughtful. So a full pan is probably just like this. <laughs> and a half pan is like, oh wow, this is really awesome. So I will show a comparison of <laughs> the Gensa Tambi pans to the other pans that we are used to. But yeah, I will do a separate video on each and every one of them. So we can go ahead and, and swatch this. So I will swatch it with this swatch card or as you know me, I probably will be using my own swatch card. My butterfly swatches will be back very soon. But yeah, this is super exciting. I'm really happy that I finally pulled the trigger, grabbed this one before it gets sold out once again. And maybe I'm never gonna have it. So yeah, I don't know if this is now a regular product or if it's still a limited edition if it's still limited edition then i'm lucky and if against i can be um have some new colors of course i am going to grab those too because you know me i'm a collector and i just want once i started them i wanted to have them all so that's all of that and those are the items that we have for today for this black friday haul so happy that I get to share this with you and go ahead and check out my other Black Friday hauls because your mama got so crazy excited and took advantage of so many of the sales. And I gave myself a lot of Christmas gifts <laughs> that I deserve. So there you go. Happy holidays. And see you on my next video. I hope that you have fun on this one and keep on creating art. See ya.